Hello again. Welcome to number three in my series of recordings on connecting BIM with the cloud using Revit 2017. Today I updated the Fire Rating client, which is a standalone Windows client of the Fire Rating application, to immediately update the BIM in real time. So just like before, we have this very trivial model. We are really only interested in the door element. The door element does not yet have any shared parameters attached to it. So I'll load the fire rating cloud, sample and bind the shared parameters so we can see it. I have already exported this data to the cloud. So let's import it right now and see what the current value of that door fire rating is and you saw I get a 7 here back from the REST API call going to the MongoDB database. We can take a look at the data in the MongoDB database as well. It looks like this. I'll refresh it just to make sure that you see that. Now the interesting part today is the new fire rating client application. This is a standalone Windows form application. It's very simple and completely unusable for production use in this form because, for instance, it displays the product ID here, which nobody wishes to know about. What we would normally want to see there is the normal username of the product. So instead of using the project name to find the door that I'm interested in, I'll use this tag here. It's set to Jeremy. So I'll simply sort by tags and you can see here the Jeremy element displayed on level 1 with the current fire rating value of 7 and a modified date uh, corresponding to the number of seconds since um, January 1st 1970. That's a Unix timestamp. What I'll do here now is I'll edit this value and for instance simply say 8. Tab away from that and now as soon as I'm back in Revit ah <laughs> I wanted to say as soon as I'm back in Revit this value the API fire rating value will be updated. That is not the case unless I subscribe to the changes. So the timestamp has now been set to this number and changes from that point on will be retrieved. So that's 9263 at the end. Let's look what the value is there. It's 9237, so that won't work, will it? So I'll update this again and set it to 9. Tab away from that. And now you can see without any clicks or anything, the fire rating value in the data in the BIM model. Let's make another change again, a bit more convincing. Tab away from that, wait for a moment, and you can see the value updates in the BIM. So this is all pretty exciting, I hope. And, um, well, I wish that you will implement the same kind of connection between BIM and the cloud in your application, because imagine the power this can provide by making not all of your information, but just the bits and pieces, selected bits of information available to whomever you like. So, have fun doing that, and bye-bye.